we're gonna we're gonna show you a triangle from the rubber guard now. Um, not too familiar with rubber guard terms, but uh, I believe that Eddie Bravo considers this a meat hook. So I, I just overhook. I say overhook so far shoulder. So whether you're an Eddie Bravo fan and follower, um, you know, great. If not, if you have no idea who he is, overhook to yeah you know, the shoulder. So we're in the guard. And the same thing that we do on, on our basic guard, uh, guard triangle is I'm just going to scoop my hip out and uh, you know, I want to make sure that my hip's outside of his leg. And as I do so, my, uh, my top leg, um, I, I want to bring up as high as I can. And ideally, um, I'm going to bring my top arm, so left arm, left leg, I overhook my ankle. And as I do so, I'm going to pull my leg up and I'm hooking in the raised armpit right here. So Ray posture's up a little bit so you guys can see. So I'm actually grabbing inside, almost like I'm grabbing his uh, pec as well. So I'm, I'm inside his uh, armpit, but I'm kind of grabbing his, his pec muscle. So I sit up, I grab him here. Now, now this is really tight. It's gonna be hard for, for him to, to move too much, but usually people do the opposite of what they should here. His better defense is to stay tight and try and pass. But you hold somebody down, usually they wanna posture up, that freaks him out. So as he postures up here, that gives me room to get that leg through. And so I bring that right leg through and I shoot it out and I go up to the triangle. Um, and again, as, as I've said on most of my triangles, if you guys watch the rest of the videos, don't hook. And, and as you're trying to bring this outside leg through, don't go to your back. Because if you go to your back, he's gonna get caught or your foot is gonna get caught. He's gonna catch you here. And then and now you're in a hard, hard spot to get out of. So I have an overhook, you know, overhook to the armpit. Now, as I go, if, if you're having a hard time getting this leg through, scoot your hips out. So you scoot your butt out, scoot your butt out. Now from here, you can bring that leg through, even if you miss his wrist, because if he grabs my leg anyways to catch, you can, you know, I mean, he, his wrist is gonna follow my leg. So if he's on my leg, if I pull my leg up to me, I can grab his wrist, and then I can move my leg through. So again, um, the, you, you can do this from a few different rubber guard positions. Uh, you know, you can have what I believe is considered lockdown with Bravo. Uh, I don't care for this much because you have to switch positions to, to finish your triangle anyways. You need this right arm free. So I, I prefer to hook with the opposite arm inside the, inside the armpit. So I have him hooked. He starts to posture up, which is exactly what I want. I push his wrist out. I don't go to my back. I stay on my side until I get that leg through. As soon as my leg clears his arm, then I go to my back and I roll. What we always do, ankle, elbow tight to my hip. If I can reach it, I go underneath his leg and then I roll, all right? I get underneath, pull him off of his base, lock my legs, and then of course, I point my feet to that direction all on the same side. And I squeeze, he's uh, having a hard time there already. So it's looking pretty good. So we're in the guard, overhook my ankle and pull it up. And uh, you know, from here, wrist control, I scoop my hips out, rotate, always crossing my ankle, pull my ankle down, and then I rotate and I finish. Uh, and uh, this, is a, this is a good triangle to do when you're trying to keep somebody tight. If, uh, if somebody's tight on you, this is good. If they're loose, if they're posturing up, you're, you're probably not gonna be able to hit this. But if somebody's holding you tight, you have a wrestler, and your guard just clamping down, this is a perfect uh, defense to that. So. Uh, Hopefully you guys uh, play with this a little bit and get a triangle from the rubber guard.